All right, you guys, we are back again. For another, really? Hold on, let me see if I can balance this long enough to do this little intro piece. You know what, Never mind. Super cool unboxing. Today, we are here with the Apple Pencil second generation. I also bought a new case for my 11 inch iPad Pro, the UAG Metropolis series. I knew that, I knew that, I definitely read it before. And this is refined protection. So, long story short, when I got the iPad Pro, a lot of the cases um, I guess they are based off of the markups before the iPad actually released, so they didn't realize that it was going to have a, you know, magnetic part at the top for the pencil to charge. So a lot of the cases that came out when the iPad first released blocked the pencil from charging. Um, so I did have a case already for my iPad, which is over here, but it blocked the port, the charging port, so that's why I got this one. Also, Jeff used to have the same brand case uh, for his iPad Pro 9.7 inch, and it's a pretty cool case. So I got the red and black, so let's go ahead and unbox this really quick so we can get to the pencil so you guys can drool over it. Okay, so that just opens up and then it just slips right out. And here's the case. So this also has uh, holder so you can it doesn't block the charging port on this side um, It also has a holder here if you want, you know a more uh, I was gonna say a more stronger that doesn't make any sense a better grip on the pencil than the iPad itself might provide Which I haven't tested yet because this is the first time I'm opening this pencil But it's not the first time it's ever been open because I did Admittedly buy an open box one trying to save me a little bit $20 here and there um, but we shall see. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this iPad in here so you can see how this case fits and kind of how it looks. So I'm, I'm reboxing and the unboxing. Oh, for those of you who want to see the inside of the case, so it's really rubberized and then it does this where you, know, you can step it out. This, this part's kind of like Velcro feeling. Not Velcro, velvet. That doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah, it's a pretty, it feels rugged, but also at the same time, it feels very comfortable, which is why I like this case. Or at least the one that Jeff had. And this feels like it's of the same quality, so I'm sure that I like this case as well. All right, so I matched everything up correctly. Let me make sure I don't bend this iPad because you know, you know, you know, you know what the deal is. All right, so I got it in here. This is how it looks in the case. Um, that's kind of, so it has this little flat thing that snaps around. It was really like, I like how magnetic it is. Like it really just, you just close it and bam, it's done. Uh, they also had this in black, like all black, blue and black, and then red and black. But I wanted the red and black, even though blue is my favorite color. Um, I thought the red stood out the most. The blue was kind of a dark blue, so it almost looked like the black. So I was like, what's the point? I want to get something that stands out a little bit. The one thing I would say is kind of... Sucky is the sleep button is very like indented, at least one thing I've noticed so far. But other than that, yeah, this feels like a pretty solid case. Now it's time for the main event, the Apple Pencil second generation. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, packaging is real slick. Has this little pull tab right here. You just pull that out. Oh, it's delicious. And you have your little design in it. California by Apple thing. Um, and then it just tells you how to change out the tip and then how to basically attach it and charge it. Um, da da da. Compliance information. Same information, I believe, in a different language. Um, so Funny story about this 
it was not really funny. So I got really frustrated earlier because I ordered the open box pencil from the Best Buy close to my house. Then this happens sometimes. It says they'll have an item in stock and they don't, so they cancel the order. Then they gotta wait for the refund to come back. Um, which I didn't. I just was like, okay, I'll just order an open box from a different store that's about eight miles away from here. So I go. To, I did that, and they had it in stock. So I went there, picked it up, got all the way back home. Uh, with traffic, it was about an hour going there. Not an hour each way, but in total, just going there and back. Got home, noticed that they gave me the first generation Apple Pencil by mistake. So I had to go all the way back up there and get this one. It was an ordeal, but I didn't end up getting the correct one. But that's pretty much the, it for the unboxing part of it. So let's go ahead and put this. So basically you have the flat edge right here. Um, I do like the design more than the first gen one. And you just set it up here on your iPad magnetically. And then boom. Oh, cut. I gotta look at it to unlock it. And then the little pencil thing comes up. And then you just tap connect. And that's pretty much it. And then it just gives you some information about what you can do. Done. Okay. And so now, yep. So, boop. It's not the case's fault. It was my fault. Don't blame the case. So now, that's already set up and working. So just so we can compare, I do have here in my pocket the original first gen Apple Pencil. And no, this is not the one that I got by mistake. This is Jeff's. I didn't keep it. I took it back. All right, so as you can see here, this one's a little bit shorter. Um, it's also, it also feels different. This has more of a, like, I guess like a matte feel. It doesn't feel like it's not slick like this one is. This feels more like a marker. This does feel a little bit more like a pencil. Um, it also doesn't have the annoying cap that comes off because it charges wirelessly. Like this is a, one of the things that I hated about the original one. Um, but yeah, it's overall a little bit lighter. Having that flat edge does make it feel a lot more like a pencil than this one does um, and we'll have to do a more in-depth video later to see how it compares performance wise to the original one i don't think there's gonna be much of a difference but we'll see anyway if you enjoyed this video remember to like share and subscribe tell a friend tell a co-worker and remember to always do at least two things at the same time peace